I worked for over a decade uh, defending tenants, oftentimes who are in these so-called mixed income developments. And what you often find is that the so-called market rate tenants will like to say, get that person out of here because they will not tolerate somebody who's not paying the same rent or same amount of money as they are and causing the least bit of a problem. And so what you end up having is that whoever manages these buildings do what we call creaming. They try to find the best, least obnoxious, whatever, the people that they think will fit in with these developments, and the people that really need the housing end up getting, never even getting back in. The final point is definitely, definitely well taken. Indeed, one of the critiques that I didn't go into depth about one of the critiques of mixed income housing is what I call the tyranny of the middle class. So as I study mixed income developments where the governance structure is such that uh, the, the market rate folks have condominium associations and the public housing residents have absolutely no representation in these supposedly mixed income communities, well, that does not lead, of course, to any kind of shared governance or shared definitions of what's appropriate public behavior or shared definitions of how we're going to use public space. Um, there have been a number, the research actually shows that while the um, public housing residents who get to move into these apartments love their apartments and their feelings of safety go up and they're very happy to have new amenities and so on and so forth, one of the things that they do also say is, I feel like I'm a prisoner in my own home. I'm constantly feeling like I'm under surveillance. It's that feeling of if I mess up once, one of my condo neighbors is going to call on me and I'm going to get kicked out. So this is a really huge problem and especially around shared governance. There, there are institutions in the city of Chicago that are trying to um, create uh, mechanisms to create community, um, but it has been a long, hard road.